I'm standing here on behalf of ADS. ADS is ADS Northrift. By the grace of God, I'm currently serving as a director at ADS Northrift. And before I just do a small presentation, receive greetings from my wife, Maureen. She was not able to join us. She's in Kapenguria, that's where she works, but she's a member of this church. Also receive greetings from Reverend Captain Naomi, the vicar in charge of uh, Lokichar Parish in Trukana Sub-County. ADS Northrift is Anglican Development Services. This is a department an organization registered by the Anglican Church in 1983, and uh, we serve communities in Northrift, the larger diocese of Eldoret. Mr. Omanyo is among the pioneers of this organization when it was registered by our first bishop, and he is currently serving as a board member from last year, July. Before him, we've had Dr. Gaya serving as a board member and uh, last week, I'm here because of what happened last week. As a board member, we traveled together. On 14th, we traveled with him to Turkana to do some distribution of seats. And last week, again, we traveled for another event with the board members. And while we were there and as we were coming, we were touched by what is happening and we really calling for us to ministry. And I will request before I just conclude uh, Alan to do a small uh, video clip that we featured of what we do in Trukana. There was locust invasion in 2019-2020 and we got some funds to support them. So this is what we did in 2021. <laughs> ilikuja ikavagia kila kitu hapa hivi ikavagia mpaka nyiki ikakula kila hakuna kitu ungeweza ona hapa green hata inyazi ya msitu ni hiyo pare no ngitanipesh enya nyane dangi tupakama pakama ama idine pakama ekunde neke neke pakama nendang enya nya pakama Hii shamba yetu iko kando na ya mto Takwel. Sasa hiyo maji ya mto Takwel ndio huwa tunatumia kufanyia irrigation eneo hili. Katika hii eneo la Katilu <coughs> unaweza pata mboga, unaweza pata nyanya, unaweza pata sukuma kutokana tu na hii mashamba chache yenye ili yenye e, wakulima ambazo sisi wakulima tulikubaliana kufanya hiyo kazi. Kwa sababu kuna maeneo yetu hapa ndani ya hii kaunti ambazo hata kuona mboga ni ngumu, hata kupata nyanya ni ngumu. Na mimi ninajua hiyo sehemu ni gani na gani na ilikuwa ninaomba Mungu anisaidie nguvu anipe uzima nizidi kulima na nipate kwa kikishia hiyo vijiji chakula aina ya mboga nzige ilipokuja ikafieka kila kitu ile masao ilipata kwa shamba ikamaliza kulikuwa na nyanya kwa shamba nzige ikamaliza kulikuwa na sukuma kwa shamba nzige ikamaliza mahindi ikamaliza mpaka ikakula hata ile nyazi ambao huwa tulimi ambayo ni mifugo ndio inakula mambo ya kilimo katika katilu ikarudi chini ikawa sasa ni kuangaika nitapata api mbegu nitapata api fedha za kulima nita... ikawa tu tumeteremshwa chini na tulikuwa tumepanda the first area that we have we were to intervene was actually on uh, food security where we, we we worked with uh, 330 beneficiaries in supporting them to acquire certified seed and uh, they were able to plant. The second um, response area that uh, we, were, we looked at was on the livelihoods, whereby we ensured that the community members uh, who had been supported, the 330, were also supported to ensure that um, they are enhancing their livelihoods through uh, the farming systems and all that. So this is the one that you can see here, and this is the one that you can na tumepanda nafikiri tukifuna tutapata nguvu ya kuendelesha ukulima na tutarudi kwa ile stage ambayo 
ya kwa data ama nzige iliturudisha kitu na kini zuwa akoro boka anarai kita leo mire ni chenlo apolo kono i luo dete ni zinu yoroko yoroko dete nyobuno ama munge chen ama munge chen luko ala kano i kia denge aya ni chen luo dio cha kuzano kini kuzano kini tali wari ngakrona ngakipi ni ziarai ni chen ngakipi natoka nani mampakazai we also support them with cash transfer which they would actually use to purchase some food items that they would not get from their farms hii pesa wakati tulipata tulipata kama shule imeanza kufungu watoto kurudi kwa shule wakati nilipata mara ya kwanza eh, nilitoa ingine nikapelekea nikarudishia watoto kwa shule ile ilibaki nikaendea hospitali sababu nilikuwa mgonjwa wakati huo eh, kidogo ile ilibaki ilinisaidia wakati nilikuwa na mesa dawa Thank you very much. The clip is 8 minutes and uh, I will ask Alan to share in our church WhatsApp group. You can watch it on YouTube. The reason I'm here is a follow-up of our visit this week. We traveled to Lokichar on Wednesday. We went to the field and on th in the evening we went to our church at St Paul's Lokichar and we were received by the church council led by the parish priest Reverend Naomi and uh, we had taken some food for our members and some clothes they really appreciated uh, but what we've learned in lodwa is that um, they need missionaries as ads what i've always come across for the last four years that i've been working is that we do this work and more other work in areas where we don't have churches and the people come to me and tell me peter you are doing a lot of work you're really feeding us physically why can't you bring your church we'll give you land so that we can be praying because we know that you're praying a true god because you care for us we are not anglicans but ack is come here to give food to people give seed to people and feed them uh, physically so that is a challenge but now the problem is that in in the entire lodwa missionary area we only have four priests four actually church army captains and uh, one archdeacon five in the entire lodwa county in our church in lokichar which is uh, turkana south reverend naomi is covering two sub counties those who've been to turkana she has a uh, jurisdiction over turkana south and turkana east which comes up to lokori she only has eight churches in the two sub counties and she's not able to serve them effectively everywhere we go even last week people saying that there is land we want to plant churches but we've not been able herself we've been trying to support her she's living um, she's being hosted by a christian we're trying to build a vicarage for her so there's so much and uh, we felt that we need to share probably someone needs there is a call someone wants to go there we have evangelists here we have people who want to go and do mission maybe as a church we could go and do mission there through our provost and the church leadership would we'll request we can do formally but if there is anyone who wants to support reach out to our office we are at Kimalel the SEK uh, office in Kimalel reach out to Mr Omanyo or myself so that we can serve God in that frontier may God bless you thank you thank you peter and i think uh, what one thing i've known i've been involved in raising money for to give out to Africa but let me tell you a secret that money comes from Christians like us they are very poor they deny themselves a meal and they give and they give us money to take to Turkana and we cannot who are close to Turkana cannot do this this is an opportunity for us uh, we can serve from here so as he said through the provost we can reach out to Peter and ADS and God bless you thank you Peter we can rise and sing hymn 291 to welcome our speaker for today. 291. 